investment. Are you thinking of owning your dream homes? EGA Investment is here for you. Secure our quality bungalows with two, three, or four bedrooms. Or our story building, three or four to five bedrooms at very affordable prices with flexible payment plans. At our Sanyang Sea View Estate, where you can enjoy the cool breeze with modern infrastructure such as the roads, covered drainage system, modern electrification with street lights, gated entrance with security posts, and social amenities such as gas station, shopping mall, medical clinic, park, schools, children daycare, and a lot more. Our dedicated team of professionals will keep the estate clean at all times, provide security and patrol team within the estate premises, install latest technologies such as CCTV, Wi-Fi, home network installation, sonar panel, and power backup system. Also, check out for our additional home facilities and interior design service, such as premium tiling, wall plaster, home landscape, fingerprint home lock, and a lot more. Visit our office at Senegambia Kololi Highway and get a free site visit tour or contact us on 4464-838. WhatsApp us on 3259-220 or you can visit our Facebook page or Instagram on EJ Investments. EJ Investments, we are first in properties. Islamic microfinance is becoming an increasingly popular mechanism for poverty alleviation, especially for developing countries around the world. This microfinance service adheres to the principles of Islam as a form of social responsibility. Yona Islamic Microfinance is the Islamic microfinance of choice in the Gambia, trustworthy and reliable. At Yona Islamic Microfinance, we provide savings products, current accounts, financing products in conformity with Islam. In addition, Yona Islamic Microfinance also offers local and international remittances, takaful fund, management of zakat, management of awqaf, trading and investment, and building of strategic partnerships to bring financial services to the doorstep of the poor with donor projects, madrasas, youth organizations, women groups, and farmer organizations. Make a choice with Yona Islamic Microfinance today. For more information on Yona Islamic Microfinance, call 377-2151 or 9832-151 or visit Yona Head Office at Tipa Garage, Bakote or visit any Yona branch located countrywide near you. Morning to you all. Uh, uh, the UNICEF representative, Dr. Uh, uh, Dr. Saib, representing the UNICEF uh, country office in the Gambia. Dr. Sise, representing Food and Agriculture Organization in the Gambia, and uh, uh, Mr. Yasi Hiro, the World Food uh, Program country office representative. Uh, Mr. Malam Fofana, the Deputy Executive Director, National Nutrition Agency. Uh, I also want to um, observe the presence of uh, Nari, Deputy Director, uh, the Gambia Standard Bureau, uh, Governor, Executive Director, and the Food Safety Quality Authority, the Director General and Deputy Director, uh, Department of Agriculture and uh, Media Personnel and all other uh, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Uh, 
duly observed. Thank you very much and good morning to you all. We are here today uh, to preside over the launching of the National Nutrition Week. As you may know, uh, this event has been celebrating all over the world for so many years. I guess it started in the U.S. so many years ago, nearly almost 40 years ago. Uh, the week is observed to raise awareness on the importance of nutrition. And uh, we've been having this thing. This is not the first time in the Gambia. So we'll do this thing. Uh, it will also be punctuated with other events. We'll have radio programs, radio and TV programs, and uh, other events uh, following the launching. But for this morning, we are going to do the launching, and it will be presided by the uh, chair of the steering committee of the project. And we'll have statement, as you can see from the program, I guess all of you have a program. Um, the first uh, statement will be delivered by Mr. Malam Fofana on behalf of Nat National Nutrition Agency. And that will be followed by Mr. Yasu Hiro, the World Food Program Country Office representative. And we'll have the launching statement by the Permanent Secretary, Minister of Health, as the chair of the steering committee. And uh, that will be followed by the question and answer session. And this will be moderated by the communication team of uh, Food and Agricultural Organization. So, and uh, the last session will be a family photo. And that will be the end of the uh, ceremony. Good morning. The Permanent Secretary, Minister of Health, Mr. Mahmoud Lamin Jaite, the WFP Country Director, Dr. Yasu, Dr. Sise, Hassan FAO Representative Programs, Dr. Saeed, representing UNICEF. The Permanent Secretary, the Tegana Permanent Secretary, Minister of Agriculture, or the representative. The directors here present, representing the various institutions. The program officers from the various institutions and stakeholders. The media. All other protocols duly and respectively observed. I'm stepping in for the executive director of NANA, Dr. Ahmad Ba, who, due to some circumstances, could not be here himself and has asked me to step in his shoes to lead, deliver a statement on behalf of NANA. I will first and foremost like to wish everybody a happy 2022. And may 2022 be a better year than 2021 and the previous years. Mr. Chair, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, it is a honor and privilege for me to make a statement on behalf of the National Union Agency at uh, this very important ceremony, that is the launching of 2022 National Nutrition Week. The Nutrition Week celebration is aimed at creating awareness of the importance of healthy eating and the adoption of desirable behaviors to address malnutrition in the Gambia. We all know that the Gambia as a country is faced or is experiencing what we can describe as triple burden. Triple burden in the sense that we are battling with undernutrition, overnutrition, 
and market differences that coexist in the country, which is a challenge to our social services. Although there has been some significant improvements in reducing online nutrition over the past, past years, the rates are still unacceptably high. While overweight, obesity, and dietary non communicable diseases are increasingly becoming a challenge. Online nutrition is the single most important contributor to child mortality and leads to significant loss of human and economic potential of individuals. In particular, stunting, which irreversibly impedes a child's physical development and culinary ability, is still high in the country. Despite the, us as a country having improvement in reducing stunting from around 23.4% in 2010 to 17.5% in 2019-2020, child undernutrition remain a persistent threat to the lives of Gambian children. Similarly, anemia, one of the most prevalent microdependencies in the country, has reduced drastically over the past years. For example, the rate of anemia in 2013 among children was 72.8 percent, but this has reduced to 44.8 percent in 2019-2020. And in pregnant, non-pregnant or lactating women of childbearing age, anemia has reduced from 58.2 percent to 42.2 percent from 2013 to 2020, 2019-2020, a big improvement in those rates. Child nutrition is linked with chronic food and nutrition insecurity, which is still prevalent in the Gambia. According to the draft report of the recently concluded comprehensive food security and vulnerability analysis, food insecurity has increased from 5.6% in 2016, 2011, sorry, to 8% in 2016, and now to 13.4% in 2021. This has been a bearing and an impact on the nutritional status of women and children that can transit from generation to generation if nothing is done to break the cycle. Therefore, to break the international cycle of malnutrition, emphasis should be placed on intervening during the 1,000 window of opportunity. That is from conception to the first two years of the child's life. This window of opportunity is not only critical and compelling, but also encompasses a vital part of the life of both the mother and the child. In this period, or it is in this period, during which poor nutrition can cause the biggest problem to the child. But optimal, optimal nutrition can provide the biggest impact on the life of the child. Therefore, we have to ensure that we provide optimal nutrition to every child that is living in this country. It is therefore recognized that targeting across the life cycle is important to address the national needs of the people throughout the life course by ensuring that we integrate, we use, we use integrated approaches to improve national outcome for women and children. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the government of the Gambia has recognized and acknowledged the critical role Newton play in the country's socioeconomic development and growth and development. The government has established structures, policies, and strategies as it realized that good Newton 
enables a society and its people to attain fiscal growth, development, and productivity. Recently, the National Insurance Policy 2021-2025, which is fully aligned with the NDP 2018-2021, now 2022, and UN Sustainable Development Goal, was approved by the cabinet. To personalize the policy, a multi-sectoral new strategy plan and commercial framework is being developed. The strategy and its implementation will ensure wider stakeholder participation, complementarity, synergy in our fight against malnutrition, and together we can make a bigger impact on the life of our people. The launching of the Newsom Week 2022 and the different engagements that are to be conducted will provide the time to reflect on the importance of healthy eating and the adoption of healthy and desirable behaviors, especially the reduction of the consumption of foods or processed foods high in sugar, salt, and fat, and the promotion of the consumption of di uh, diverse five diet rich in micronutrients, particularly fortified and biofortified foods. It is evident that macronutrient deficiencies are caused by a number of factors, including eating habits, food processing, food, pro uh, food uh, preferences, poverty, lack of access to a wide variety of micronutrient-rich foods, lack of knowledge on open dietary practices, and high incidence of infectious diseases. Every effort must therefore be taken to address these factors. One of the efforts in reducing microdiversity in the past five years is the implementation of improve, the improving food security and nutrition in the Gambia through fortification and reducing microdiversity deficiency of women and children in the Gambia through sustainable and integrated approach to uh, food fortification the Baltimore projects. These twin projects are supported by the European Union and coordinated by FAO and the United Purpose, implemented by the partners, the various ministries and agencies, aim to address macronutrient deficiencies in the country in a pervasive and sustainable manner by making available, accessible, and sustainable by 45 and 45 foods in the country to the public. Mr. Piaman, distinguished journalist and gentlemen, we live in a society where social and cultural practices are deeply ingrained, which affects behaviors and thus internal status. To break these cultural practices and barriers and to eliminate the undesirable behaviors, social and behavioral change communication, including mass media campaigns, can play an important role. SBCC and in particular, this particular public awareness campaign that we are launching today are aimed at making people knowledgeable on how to make good food choices, good food and lifestyle choices, and develop healthy eating behaviors for themselves and for others to enhance health and well-being. The most appropriate and effective means of making people knowledgeable in nutrition is through community mobilization and use of various approaches of social and behavior change communication. These approaches will afford people the knowledge, skills, and motivation they need to make wise dietary and lifestyle choices that will enable them to build a strong foundation for a healthy and productive life. SBCC in particular provides a national framework to guide the delivery, monitoring and evaluation of communication interventions to improve nutrition and health outcomes. To conclude, it is thus 
It does, SPCC does bring about ownership and sustainability by the communities and other stakeholders. During the commemoration of the Inclusion Week 2022, several SBCC approaches will be used to inform, educate, and communicate with the public on the importance of healthy eating for the improvement of health and nutritional outcomes. I therefore appeal to the general public to pay particular attention to the vital information and messages that will be disseminated during the course of the week. On behalf of the executive director of NANA, under the Office of the Vice President, I would like to thank all the partners and stakeholders for their effort in contributing towards improvement of the status of the people in the Gambia, particularly women and children over the past years. In as much as we have improvement, there is much more to be done. And I hope this partnership will continue for better improvement to come. I wish all of you a very happy and fruitful celebration during the course of the week. Thank you very much for your kind attention. I recognize the presence of Deputy Executive Director of National Nutrition Agency, Mr. Fofana, Permanent Secretary of the Ministry of Health, Mr. Jaite, Deputy Director of Health Promotion and Education and Nutrition Unit, and dear colleagues from UN agencies, mainly, um, especially uh, FAO, Dr. Sise, representing FAO, and Dr. Said, representing UNICEF, and representatives of NARI, Global uh, Gambia Standard Bureau, and FSQA, and civil society and UN colleagues, members of media houses, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, all protocols observed. First of all, I wish you a very happy, prosperous, successful, and especially healthy New Year 2022 to you all. I'm honored this morning to deliver this statement on behalf of the United Nations agencies, among others, FAO, UNICEF, and World Food Program, as we launch the 2022 Nutrition Week, which aims to raise public awareness on the importance of healthy diets and adoption of appropriate nutrition behaviors. This year's Nutrition Week is jointly organized by the New National Nutrition Agency, the Ministry of Health, the Ministry of Agriculture, the Food Safety and Quality Authority, the Gambia Standard Bureau, NARI, the National Sea Secretariat, United, United Purpose, and the UN Nutrition Joint Working Group. This is the second event of this kind, and it's partly funded by FAO, WP, and UNICEF through its European Union funded project, Improving Food Security and Nutrition. Ladies and gentlemen, we are proud of the significant achievement made by the Gambia during the past decades in reducing malnutrition among women and children. This was done through implementation of integrated, multifaceted, and complementary approaches that were jointly coordinated and monitored in collaboration with various stakeholders. Mr. Famara, uh, Fofana has already uh, mentioned all these data, so I will not repeat here, but it's a significant achievement that deserves acknowledgement and congratulations. But at the same time, we should also be mindful of the negative impacts of COVID-19 pandemic and climate shocks, which have compromised the progress of the previous decade. Unfortunately, according to the November 2021 Cadre Harmonisé Food and Nutrition Security Analysis, the nutrition status of children in 2021 shows some deterioration, including high prevalence 
of acute malnutrition in areas such as Base, 10.2%, Kuntao, 11.7%, and Mansa Konko, 11.3%. Also, uh, Deputy ED mentioned the result of the preliminary result of the comprehensive food security and vulnerability analysis. This also mentioned the, the challenging situation in the malnutrition in this country. Only through continuous joint efforts and strong partnerships will we be able to overcome these challenges. And there is still much more to improve the nutritional status of the population in order to meet the global acceptable standards. I'm sure that together we'll be able to achieve these targets also through strong partnerships, collaboration, and leaving no one behind. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm pleased to report the significant contribution of the UN agencies NGOs, the civil society, and bilateral and multilateral donors towards national nutrition efforts here. With EU-funded project, improving food security and nutrition through food fortification, the UN agency supported the government of the Gambia to establish the requisite regulatory and legal framework for food fortification in the Gambia. These fortification standards have been gazetted for fortified wheat flour, edible fats and oil, and iodized soil, salt, sorry, whilst a standard for fortified rice is awaiting submission for gazetting by the Gambia Standards Bureau. A food fortification regulation 2020, which mandates the fortification of the above mentioned food, was launched in June 2021 by Her Excellency Vice President of the Gambia and is being enforced by the Food Safety and Quality Authority. The UN agencies further supported the government of the Gambia to articulate its commitment at the Global Nutrition Summit that took place in December 2021 in Tokyo, Japan. The commitment document received a high rating and appreciation. Also, early this month, UN agencies supported the development of a multi-sectoral nutrition strategic plan 2022-2025. Furthermore, nutrition-sensitive agriculture through biofortification has been successfully piloted in Central River region North and South and North Band region, providing beneficiaries households with biofortified maize, cassava, orange flesh sweet potato, and iron-rich cowpea crop varieties. This was made possible through collaboration with the Ministry of Agriculture, National Agriculture Research Institute, NARI. Five varieties of orange flesh sweet potato and one pro-vitamin A made variety, all of which are rich in vitamin A, have been registered in the National Seed Catalog and are undergoing certification through the National Seed Secretariat. The UN is supporting private sector partners in the production of fortified rice and other fortified blended food to find sustainable solutions to undernutrition and micronutrient deficiency. Social and behavior change communication, mass media and multimedia approaches are being used to create awareness. UN agencies developed information, education and communication materials with key messages promoting the consumption of micronutrient-rich food, dietary diversity, and optimal infant and young child feeding practices in close collaboration with NANA, Ministry of Health, and other partners. Ladies and gentlemen, to ensure that nutritionally vulnerable population, including children, pregnant and lactating women, and girls, and mothers with HIV, these most vulnerable people, have improved nutritional status. The UN has prioritized critical life-saving interventions. In 2021, more than 100,000 school children benefited from the school feeding program, while 18,000 children under five and pregnant and lactating women and mothers received therapeutic 
supplementary feeding, which has significantly contributed to the reduction of wasting. The UN also supported the sector with the provision of life-saving nutrition supplies, ready-to-use therapeutic food, therapeutic milk, F75 and F100 and Russell meal for the treatment of a severe acute malnutrition. In 2021, more than 3,600 children were admitted and benefited from these supplies. The UN Nutrition Specific Promotion Program also covers vitamin A supplementation of children 6 to 59 months. Multiple micronutrient supplementation for children 6 to 23 months in uh, Sierra North, then the salt iodization at salt production sites across the country. UN agencies have supported the Ministry of Health through the National Nutrition Agency in strengthening the hospitals in institutionalizing the WHO slash UNICEF 2018 revised guidelines on 10 steps of successful breastfeeding within the framework of baby-friendly hospital initiative and baby-friendly community initiative. Relevant public and private sector stakeholders' capacities have been enhanced by providing the requisite knowledge, skills, and equipment to enable them to implement and monitor nutrition programs. UN agencies through NANA, Minister of Agriculture, Minister of Health, supported the training of 25 doctors on the integrated management of acute malnutrition protocols, 180 nurses on outpatient treatment programs and inpatient facility care, and more than 300 nurses, social workers on the prevention, management, and monitoring of the nutritional status of vulnerable groups. In order to keep monitoring and nutritional status of children and women of childbearing age, the UN supported to establish nutritional sen nutrition sentinel surveillance sites across the country that provide quarterly nutritional updates. Ladies and gentlemen, the UN contributes, the UN contributions were based on mutual collaboration and partnership. I hereby congratulate all partner institutions. The UN Nutrition Group wishes to renew its complement to nurture and strengthen national efforts to achieve a Gambia free of any form of malnutrition. Allow me to thank all funding agencies, notably European Union and Japan, for their general support, resulting thus in the achievements registered today. I thank you all for your kind attention. The representative of uh, the WFP country office, Dr. Yasuhiro, representative of the unity of country office, Dr. Shahid, the FAO country office representative, Mr. Sise, the Executive Director of National Nutrition Agency, ably represented here by the Deputy Executive Director, Mr. Malam Fofana, distinguished senior members, senior officials of government and the Ministry of Health here present, members of the media fraternity, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, all other protocols respectfully observed. Good morning to you all and uh, Happy New Year 2022. It gives me an honor to be here this morning as the chairperson of the steering committee on the EU funded project entitled Improving Food Security and Nutrition Through Food Fortification, which is the launching ceremony marking the 2022 National Nutrition Week. I would like to particularly thank the Health Promotion Directorate 
as the focal person, as the focal point for nutrition matters of the Ministry of Health and other implementing partners here present and fellow committee members for their physical presence. As you know, all our engagements, if not all, but most of our engagements to this date has been through virtual means. So our physical presence here today is very important and highly appreciated. In the cognition of the critical and very important role of all the implementing partners and stakeholders in the collective fight against malnutrition and its associated burden in the Gambia, please allow me from the onset to highlight some of the great successes that have been registered since the launch of this laudable project in 2017. Some of the key milestones cut across three respective components or outputs which are as follows. On output one, which is the legislative, regulatory, policy, institutional and governance environment for food fortification, the government of the Gambia has gazetted the fortification of three food vehicles, namely wheat flour, edible oil, and fats, and iodized, iodization of salt. Rice fortification standards have been ap approved and undergoing gazetting. A National Alliance for Food Fortification, NAF, has been established with its secretariat as the National Nutrition Agency for the coordination of the public-private partnership activities related to food fortification. The first National Food Consumption Survey was also conducted, providing up-to-date information on per capita consumption of the targeted food fortified and biofortified crops. The report is expected to be launched in the coming year, in the coming weeks. Several trainings have also been carried out for both government and private sector actors on the new standards for fortified food, quality controls and quality assurance techniques standards operating procedures, manuals and monitoring tools were also developed and are being used. On output two, which is production of food fortified, of fortified food and biofortified crops in quantity and quality increased. Biofortified food like maize, orange flushed sweet potato, cassava, and iron-rich cowpea have been successfully piloted, piloted in selected communities in CRR North, CRR South, and NBR. So far, over 10,000 beneficiaries have been reached with these biofortified crops. Ladies and gentlemen, on output three, which is improve social marketing and communication with integrated nutrition interventions. As we speak, over 1,300 people have been trained on nutrition education using social and behavioral communication approach. The 2019 Nutrition Week, which included a nationwide caravan tour, TV and radio panel discussions have also reached a significant part of the Gambian population 
with key nutrition messages. Over 300 farmers and 60 school cooks have been trained by Food Technology Services, FTS, through a series of cooking demonstrations on various biofortified recipes. Distinguished audience, ladies and gentlemen, over the years, the government of the Gambia, through the Ministry of Health, has continued to demonstrate commitment in attaining optimal health and nutrition status for the Gambian population through diverse and efficient interventions by incorporating mandatory large-scale food fortification and biofortification services into national nutrition programs. As participants in this very important event, we therefore look forward to improved levels of education and awareness being the ultimate objective of this forum on the importance of actions to promote optimum nutrition through best food choices for health. The Nutrition Week should remind all of us that, and the general public, including the media, to turn to credible sources of information, scientific-based information, for that matter, on food and nutrition. I therefore urge everyone to make efforts to contact, to identify and contact the relevant agencies, such as NANA and the Ministry of Health, as well as the Ministry of Agriculture and all other key stakeholders here present for an education-wide nutrition information. I would like on this note, and on behalf of the Ministry of Health and on my own humble behalf, to take the opportunity to thank our funding partners, as well as all our development partners that have been supporting the Nutrition Week and all other nutrition interventions in the Gambia, especially the European Union, for funding the food fortification projects in the country through the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations. On this very happy note, therefore, I would like now to finally declare the 2022 National Nutrition Week officially launched. I thank you very much for your time.
Last commercial being the phone. Wow, then one of the new doctor A cover. Nine A grade right now. Wow. We do have bundles as well. Hair. So don't let your dog. You need to get a little jiggy and wreck. Little jiggy and wreck. Wow. What are the two kids? I mean, book on that classic suitcase. You know, the new doctor A Samsonite. Do they in the any brown of suitcases though other than Samsonite? Come live with me here. Go to the airport. Do the Samsonite. The family is holy. Wow. Again, the land like wow. Um, skin, si mom le nyugena hami nak skin care products, si mom le nyugena hami nyugena doctor mit bentete mit si aydala. Man wai man nak skin care moist my specialty. Ham gare tiken busa harka nam regle lot of mujak. I mean, um, Patricia Reiner, Kiwi Eye the whole range, Lighten up gold, um, tomatine. I mean, the list can just go on and on and on and on. Lepo lo han regle lui taral jigen la ki yoyu regle nyodo. Skin care plus nak. And we see Gambia, right? You go United States, you get Gambia fee. But for it, would they young anywhere in Europe? Mune laku meal within three days, right? Nyeti fun, right? Ngajot say do. And we see low, right? Then la consult them. But then la jay do. Then they have a free consultation. Puru bahala, right? Exactly linga hamne mo mingo aksa kanam. Then then what them in right? Am ning perfumes, you know, fragrances, men shirts, um, accessories. We do do dresses as well. We do blouses. I mean, we do shoes. Name it, we do them. Skincare Plus 2020 is our year of perfection. Zero tasks. Who make any real me fit? Can what perfect tasks? Can what fit? I'm probably can I? Can what fit? I'm probably picture. Book. I mean, perfect. Can I make new law? Can plus the fee. Albaga. <laughs> 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 We live in a day and age where technology is creating a world without borders, filled with unlimited potential to improve the lives of the people around us. Innovarex Global Health ushers in a new way of leveling the playing field with increased access to quality healthcare services delivered at your doorstep. Our qualified professionals are equipped with state-of-the-art point-of-care testing technology to conduct tests such as kidney function, liver function, electrolyte tests, body composition, hemoglobin, A1C, and many more services with the highest efficiency in delivering results. The addition to our flagship Wellness on Wheels, more fondly known as WOW Delivery Service, brings the entire clinical experience full circle. 
IGH has remained committed to creating the future of healthcare delivery. Gone are the days of sending loved ones outside the country for basic medical services. Innovarex Global Health offers a new peace of mind and takes pride in delivering the quality of care we all deserve.